In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this bathroom fan in like five minutes or less. Coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from the Home Improvement Channel with another video helping you fix things around the house. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly replace this bathroom fan if it's total junk or if it can be salvaged if it's just squeaking or something. I'll show you how to take it apart and clean it and lubricate it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, guys, as you can see, I went ahead and took the grill off of there. I didn't bother to show that because it just clips into this uh, spots over here. Uh, just squeeze the little springs and it comes right out. There's nothing to it. But you're probably wondering, why am I making a video on such a simple fix as this? Um, because I've come into houses before where the customer has tried to replace this fan. And what they wind up doing is they try to take the whole housing out of the ceiling and it's just a nightmare to do that because of all the drywall and the wire up there and everything else. But you don't have to do that. If you just do this, just unplug the fan right here and click that right out of its little clamp right there. It just pulls right out. See that? Just like that. See, there's two clips on this side and one on the other side right here. And that's it. Sometimes you'll find a screw in this little hole right here, but usually not. Usually it's just clipped up in there. And that's it. Once you go to the store, you can buy this fan and leave the housing up in the ceiling and pull this part out of the new uh, box and take it out of the new housing and put it right back in your ceiling just like this. Make sure that these two clips on this side are in. It's not showing on the camera right now because I wanted you to see this side. And then that's it. Clip it back in. Make sure that is clipped in there right there. Otherwise somebody might be taking a dump and the fan will fall on their head. So if you don't think that that's strong enough and put a little screw right there and plug it back in. And that's it. It's replaced. That's if your fan is junk. Um, most of these fans like this are all the same size. So this will work. I've replaced lots of these and they're almost always this size right here. But if your fan is just squeaking, you might be able to take it apart and clean it up and oil it. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. As you can see, I've got the fan here on the bench. Um, if you can clean this off before you get to this point, if you have access to an air compressor, that's great. If you want to use a water hose, you can, but I recommend probably don't get the motor that wet. Um, maybe cover it with a bag or something. Uh, first thing that I would do is pull this blade off right here. Usually the shaft is sticking through right there, but for the ease of the video, I went ahead and pulled it off. Um, but you might have to use your feet to hold this down and then just pull. It'll come right off. And these two nuts, pull them off first. All right. And this is obviously going to be a lot nastier than this usually. Okay, so this part here, now you can take it out and wash it completely because uh, there's nothing on there that you can really hurt. Uh, but this motor is what you're going to want to take apart. What happens is, is the grease that they put in there from the factory sometimes will kind of gum up and it'll keep it from turning good. If you notice when you spin the fan, it might not turn very easily. And if it's doing that, then there's a good chance you can just clean it and do what I'm doing here and it'll fix. So take these two screws out. Like I said, if you have access to an air compressor, that's really going to help a lot to get some of that nasty dust and stuff like that out of here. I've already cleaned this up, obviously, so I didn't show that part.
All right, once you get the screws out, just go ahead and pull this bottom piece off, just like that. And pull the top piece out, and the armature will probably come out with it. And just kind of slowly work it out, just like so. And this is a uh, like a copper bushing right in here, and that needs to stay in there. If it comes out, you can probably press it back in there, but that uh, that needs to stay right where that's at. So again, I've already cleaned this up, but uh, what I usually will do is take a Brillo and kind of clean this shaft up, you know, get that old nasty grease off of there. Both sides, of course. You can use a little bit of cleaner, degreaser or something like that if you have any. And if you have a Q-tip, be a good idea to wet the Q-tip with some kind of degreaser and go down in here and kind of clean that out. I don't have a Q-tip handy and do the same thing in this one. Just clean that out with a Q-tip and then that's it. When you put it back, I'm just using a little bit of 3-in-1 oil. You might be able to put a dab of grease on there if you wanted to, but I think this is going to work just fine. Just oil it up like that. Maybe put another drop on the shaft here. And that's it. Put it back together. Uh, when you put it back together, make sure you take note of which way the motor was oriented. Uh, you're going to want to put that back in the housing like this. This is the uh, bottom of the housing where you see it from the bottom. The cord is going down right here. And that sits in there like that. So make sure you don't put it in there like that. All right. Take note of that before you take it apart. One of these is threaded and one is not. And remember that also to put the threaded one back in the right spot. Which the threaded one goes on this side right here. Put these bolts back up in there. I know this is only a $15 fan, but this procedure will work on the more expensive fans too. And besides, if it's just a little squeak and you can do this in a few minutes, why throw away $15? Just uh, fix it and put it back. If it starts squeaking again later, then just replace it later. But for me, this usually works. All right, that's it. Get those bolts tight and then put it back in the housing. Remember, motor side goes on the bottom where it faces you when you put it back in the in the bathroom put the nuts back on And push the fan blade back in there. Right there when it comes through is when it's done. Make sure it spins good. And we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Oh yeah. There it is. Works like a champ. No squeaking. All right. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos home related as often as I can. Thanks for watching.